This video was shot in Cortona during our fall 2022 foodie trip to the Tuscany and Umbria regions. The topic of this video is agnolotti, which is a stuffed pasta from the Piedmont region, which is up in northwestern Italy. We stuffed this agnolotti with a spinach ricotta filling. And the recipe and the link to specialty tools that we use in this video is all on my website at chefmichaelsalmon.com. For this recipe, I am using a plain egg pasta dough, and the recipe is available on my post, Pasta 101, along with a video describing the steps to make fresh pasta dough at home. Okay, on your last So the filling's all set. We got a little swatch pastry bag here. So agnolotti, if you didn't hear me before, it's a stuffed ravioli from the north of Italy. And for me, it's it's like my favorite pasta shape. This creates all these little nooks and crannies for the sauce to build up. So it makes it really, really nice for, for a, especially a sauce like Susan's gonna make today. Hopefully she doesn't mess that up. And uh, we're not trapping bad sauce, right? It's all about the sauce. It's all about the sauce. <laughs> okay, so we're going to roll out the dough. A little bit skinnier. You know, last, yesterday I told you to roll it out as wide as. For agnolotti, you probably want, it's more efficient to do it a little bit thinner. Then you won't be wasting as much pasta. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. Okay, so zero to maybe five. So a little bit thinner. Usually when you're doubling doughs up in a ravioli, a tortellini, or an agnolotti, you want it to be a little bit thinner because you're going to be have a double layer, of course, when you end up, right? Pretty good. Let's do zero, two, and five. Okay, Richard, you want to grab the bench next? Okay. Okay, so onion lattes, you're gonna take, hey, this is an egg wash, a little bit of water in it. Who made that? Doughboy. <laughs> Doughboy. You never live it down, never. I embrace it. He perpetuates it. <laughs> So you're trying to make little mounds, okay? Like for a ravioli, you try to do something like that, right? These you want to be little, like little towers. I'm not putting a little spiral on the top of it. <laughs> so don't get them too close. We should get a ruler out for this so you guys don't miss it. So Richard, you guys are gonna make the first round and then I want you to teach someone else to do the next round and then someone else to do the next round, okay? Yeah, of course. Okay. That's what I was saying. So. So similar to what you think you would do for a ravioli, right? You're covering the filling. Okay, going all the way over so that you can reach the, um, the egg wash seal there. So, how it's different? Ravioli, you'd push down, right? And then you have the, you have a nice um, little cut, and you take a cutter and cut it. For the agnolotti, you pinch up in between, okay? You and you're things? moving, moving all the air out as you go, okay? And pinch and 
promote that little mound of filling while you're doing it. So you want that as erect as possible? Correct. Yes. So this is something that has to be made. You can't buy these, can you? Um, in, nor in Northern Italy, yes. Oh. They're all over <laughs> the place up there. But no, generally, unless you're in a community that has Northern Italians, you're not gonna find oh, them. Okay. okay, so the cutters, this one, the <coughs> edge. And Michael, these are called? Agnolottis, A-G-N-O-L-O-T-T-I. Is that waste or do this is waste because it already has egg wash on. Okay, so here's the secret to an agnolotti. Push, <coughs> see that little crease there? That's what you're producing. So you're pushing <coughs> down like that, creating, <coughs> creating little pockets in there. See that? Beautiful, huh? So we need three per person, so we need, what, 60? The recipe for the complete dish, spinach agnolotti, is available on my website. I serve the agnolotti with an oregano cream sauce and sous vide chicken thighs. Happy cooking! Hopefully you enjoyed this video and are inspired to recreate it at home. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and I would appreciate a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos. Check out my website at chefmichaelsalmon.com for recipes, my online store with links to my favorite tools and ingredients, and information on my two cookbooks.